that I want to do, uh, but we shall see how that all works itself out. Okay. Live on YouTube. Go copy the link. Hey, everybody. Go share the link in Real Estate Live. Hello, most wonderful world of YouTubians. <laughs> That's probably not a real thing, but <laughs> needless to say. Markyism. <laughs> That's a markyism. We are elated to be here with you today, this wonderful, wonderful Thursday. The weather is wonderful here on the south side of Chicago. My husband is outside being the grill, no, the assistant to the grill master, because I'm the grill master. And today oh. we're going to talk about Oh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. <laughs> I Look, if you think you tough, come on. I challenge you to a grill cook-off. Don't ever underestimate the power of a female. I know in most houses, the male is the grill master. But before you take me on that challenge, understand that my family owns Chicago's oldest barbecue restaurant. We have sold more pork rib tips than anybody else in the great city of Chicago. Born and raised in the business, know how to hand trim my meat, and I am a beast with a meat cleaver. Just thought All I right should put it out there. Now, What's going on, Carrie? Hey, nothing much. You know, you sound like you was working hard. I, I will say I got some stuff done. I've got my coaching sessions done for my office. I even have a checklist here because an agent asked me, um, asked me a question like. She sent me a text and said, Carrie, I have my first closing. What do I do next? And I have this book, Marky, a whole book for the agents in my office, like old school book. And I was like, I didn't even have this typed out. So I had, so I got some stuff done. Not what I intended, but my coaching has been going. I started last night with the agents. So we have their weekly uh, success chart. And then I also had to ask them some hard questions and they got their uh, Google Calendar set up last night. Well, that's freaking awesome. You did a lot. The only thing I did today, if you were to go look at my YouTube channel, it's not the only thing I did today. I actually started off at uh, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I had a Facebook, no, I had a Zoom meeting with ERA in Jackson, Michigan. Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois are... No, I might say Texas too, are three states that I spend the most time in, in the state of Michigan. I am an instructor and a course provider. So I've been to Jackson. I actually been, I've been all over the entire state of Michigan, but I've been to Jackson uh, to train exclusively for their local board. And so one of the uh, local owners invited me into a group of about 50 agents, started my day off with them. Then had C2X commitment to excellence. I am on the national committee for you the had national another meeting. Yes, on the okay. national committee for the National Association of Realtors. The other day I did the subgroup committee, uh, which is the ambassador committee for C2X. Today it was the C2X meeting. So had that meeting. Then tomorrow. I am doing three classes for the Arizona Association of Realtors. I was due to go meet them face to face, but they had to cancel their face-to-face -face conference due to the coronavirus. So we were basically testing the systems for our three-hour back-to-back sessions tomorrow. And then I did YouTube. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I mean, like, if I told you my whole day, I trained um, an office in Glenview today. I did watch a, a, a live with, some, with a couple of agents, one from Arizona and one from, a couple from the D.C. area. So that was, that was a pretty good live. And then, yeah, and tomorrow morning is my um, live Coffee with Carrie on Instagram at 9 a.m. Well, here's what's interesting. Carrie Ke Watson, uh, he, some days he's real hot on the inbox messages. I don't know if you all have heard of Terry Watson. Uh, Terry Watson probably is the number, he's the number one African-American real estate speaker in the country. He's been out here on the road now for 20 years. He lives in Chicago, born and raised, and we are, we're good buddies. And he's my mentor as well. So now he just let me know that I can go get the certified virtual presenter through eSpeakers, which is in conjunction with the National Speakers Association. So I believe I have all the equipment. I'm going to go get me another dang on badge so people 
people will know that you are efficient with equipment, camera, microphone. I'm going to read over it, make sure that I'm prepared uh, for that today. What is it called? It is the Certified Virtual Presenter. Terry going to keep me in order. Y'all, everybody need them a Terry in their life because Terry, he do not be playing with me. Um, You're probably already certified, but let's just go with that. I I, Well, you know, you want the badge and actually I could probably lead all my emails off with that um, and link to it so they will understand what it means. So you don't have to ask me about lighting about microphones right i even you know i i got it all and i did a behind the scenes if you're not following us over on instagram i did a behind the scenes today of my office so you can see all of my equipment and i also have an equipment list over on amazon uh i'm an amazon influencer but today we're gonna talk about lead generation and i have a presentation all set up for you guys oh we already got some q a going on oh that was you talking to me earlier that's me duh I'm posting like just you know welcoming folks I, so I we're gonna it. do a uh, a screen share and i'm actually going to show you one of my favorite presentations i do this presentation quite a bit i am a secret speaker with uh, Secrets of Top Selling Agents under homes.com. And this is something that we have been sharing. I don't even know what just happened with that because this is the last slide. Um, Let me escape. Why did it do that to me? Uh, But a presentation that I often do for them. So when we start thinking about lead generation, I'm going to do something a little different today. Carrie and I have historically talked about the tools that are inside of the MLS. Today, I'm going to talk about how to do lead generation for events. And the thing today is that these events can be face-to-face or they could be virtual events. But there are some tools and equipment. I'm going to walk you step-by-step through how I do this. Today, Michigan they are elated because in the state of Michigan, real estate professionals are considered non-essential. And today they got to go back to work. Now, here's the thing. Every seller might not want you in their house. So how do we leverage these different tools? What I want to tell you about this first tool, I don't want you to get the tool today. I do not want you to try this tool until maybe two to three days before your event, whether that event is going to be face-to-face or online. That tool is Kiwi Live. Now, I actually pay for Kiwi Live because Kiwi Live talks directly to my MailChimp email. I don't believe in giving out paper, even though I walk around with a notebook at all times. What I do believe is in delivering people the content to their email and letting them pull it up on their device. You would use Kiwi for event registrations. You would use it for open houses. Anytime you were gonna print paper and give it out, I would not print anything and give it out. I'm gonna show you about Kiwi. So it's a tool that I want you to have in your arsenal, but do not sign up for the free version today. So that is kiwilive.com, K-I-W-I-L-I-V-E. But let me show you what I did initially when I tried it uh, over a year ago. I wanted to try it to give away a handout via Facebook. What I realized was when I was sharing that link, while I was still under the free trial, 132 people came to get the download. So off of Facebook, 132 people decided to download the item. Well, of course, now I have those leads, right? And those leads are going to go into my customer relationship management system. I want you to not only have Kiwi, I also want you to have an Eventbrite account. Now, for me, this might be more important than it is for you. In the city of Chicago, Chicago is the second largest Eventbrite market in the country. So this is why I want you to have an Eventbrite account. Anytime you take registrations via Eventbrite, those people Uh, those leads or contact information come into the Eventbrite system. That means if you do another event on the Eventbrite or utilizing the Eventbrite platform, you can send them an email about your future events. The next thing is every event that I set up, I can automatically set up a Facebook event. So there is a plug in directly to Facebook. So I get to remarket to you. I get to set up a Facebook event. But Eventbrite's API talks to 
MailChimp's API. So if you register for an event, you're automatically put into my email marketing system. You kind of get an idea. So Kiwi will talk directly to it. Uh, MailChimp will talk directly to Eventbrite. And anytime I have any duplicates that come into that system, it merges those duplicates, okay? So imagine you're doing an event and I'm, I'm not gonna even, get, you know what, I don't even make you have to imagine. I have a whole scenario set up for you. So this is what Facebook looks like. So we did the Eventbrite registration. The registration shows up on Eventbrite. This is what that same event looks like inside of Facebook because Eventbrite talks directly to Facebook. So here we go. I was going to give you a, a mock example. I don't need to do that. On September the 20th, 2018, one of my agents had set up a trolley tour. My real estate team is infamous for trolley tours, and we have some of the best events you would ever attend for real estate on the south side of Chicago. One of the reasons we have phenomenal events is because we have a lot of sponsorship dollars for our events. And the reason we have a lot of sponsorship dollars is because we get a lot of people to attend the events. But you gotta do the event first to be able to tell people you're gonna have these many warm butts and seats. So uh, Nicole Wheatley, who's on my team, but also a planner for the city of Chicago, she was doing this event. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, three days before the event, Nicole called me and she said, Marky, can you come and facilitate this event? I am going to a marriage, uh, a marriage retreat. I'm like, girl, no. <laughs> and I don't have no problems telling people no. OK, and everyone in conjunction with my office knows one thing about me. I am not the last minute go to person. <clears throat> so reaching out to me at the last minute will overwhelmingly get you a freaking no. So she keeps talking to me as Nicole does all the time. And I said, okay, Nicole, I'll do the event. So I got back into Chicago that Thursday night. Thursday night after I've said, yes, yeah, she gonna hit me over the head. She says, Marky, we have 78 people registered and we had a 30 some page handout. Um, I'm go I want you to print out that handout for 30 some people. Hell no. There's no way I am going to take my Friday in the office to print out 30 sheets of paper stapled. All I could think about was paper jam and me being 100% frustrated for something I didn't want to do in the first place. So I tell her, I said, you know what? I'll do the event for you. But under no circumstances am I printing out so much as one sheet of paper. Oh, Marky, well, how are they going to get it? I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to deliver it to them. Well, they're not a technology group of people. Well, they're going to be tech if you want them to get it today or Saturday. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, day after tomorrow, right, because this was Thursday night. So this is what I did. I took that 30-some page handout. I created a online, well, I created a PDF. I loaded the PDF to Kiwi Live, okay? So that means that anyone who gave me, remember I had 130 some people already who had given me their contact information, but for this new group, if they gave me their contact information, they would receive the 30 some page handout. Thought it was genius, right? Oh, this is gonna work. Nicole sends me over the little funky list of 78 people, the 78 people who are not going to get a printed handout, right? So as soon as we get there that Saturday morning, one of our sponsors, um, I would say she's probably as old as my mother, and my mother was a teen parent, but she's going on 70, okay? I, no, she was, she's in her 60s, because uh, I'll be 50, so she's about 67. And she was like, I don't use technology you don't have a printed copy. I said, absolutely not. And if you want a copy of your own handout to see it, you will use this tool. So I have stood there and I taught her how to use the tool. Now here's what's funny. Before the end of the day, she was teaching everyone. And when I saw her teach the first person, I said, I thought you didn't use technology. Girl, I got it now. Well, I bet your butt <laughs> too have it now. Cause guess what I wasn't doing? <laughs> Printing that paper out. So this is what I did at the event that's the loan officer behind me. I took a 
sheet of paper, a post-it, the oversized one over on the right-hand side, I wrote on it, go to www.kiwilive.com, use the keyword marquee, or, and my keyword now was real estate. I don't know why I didn't have real estate in the first place. Real simple for all my real estate events. And this is how I also deliver my resource sheet for every speaking event that I do. Or do not do both. Text Marky to 85377. What I was clear about was that because of the age of the audience, everyone would not have internet access or free internet access, right? And so I needed to have a backup to the system because no system, especially internet-based, when you're likely to have a more seasoned audience attend will be able to access the tool. So what I did was I gave them an alternative way to be able to access the tool, which was the text message. I delivered that tool via text to nine people because they just couldn't get to www.kiwilive.com. So what happened? I took that handout, PDF, loaded it to Kiwi, gave people the Kiwi information, nine people could not gain access, but now I have them in another system for my company, which is an exclusive text marketing system. The question though is, how many people use the KiwiLive.com? Well, these are the two trolley buses full of people. We were able to pre-approve 10 people on this trolley tour. So the lender loves us. If you look here, we knew that we had 132 people in Kiwi. By the end of this trolley tour, we had 265 people. And if you look on the left-hand side, those were the leads that were coming in via Kiwi Live. Kiwi was a freaking huge success. But I want you to think about how long it would have taken me to print out 78 copies of 30 sheets of paper with a staple on a Friday. Plus, we're talking about real estate listings, so there were color, which was not in our budget, right? Um, for my time, or for the paper, or for the color print. And so you can do lead generation. And guess what? They're all in Eventbrite for future events. They're all in my customer relationship management system for follow up. And we got 10 pre-approved buyers out of that trolley tour. And the big thing is, um, and and because my first question was, okay, you're a speaker. I know you're using a speaker, but you, you were able to convert 10 people and yes. you didn't have a trolley full of paper because I know I'm not going home with the paper. And now you have a way to connect with everyone because the likelihood that someone filled out the sheet of paper and put it in the bucket to give it to you is rare. We don't fill all that out anymore. We just give you enough. Well, we don't fill it out. Um, and here's the thing. I am anti-give out paper. 100% anti-give out paper. So when it comes, I would do the same process at a showing appointment. I'm not letting you, and I think we talked about this the other day. I'm born and raised Inglewood, south side of Chicago. I've always thought it was stupid that we let people walk through people's houses that we don't know, that we invite a complete stranger in and lock the door behind us. Oh, let me make sure the door is locked. You just locked yourself on the same side of a door with a stranger. And that's why we among the top 10 jobs for homicide in this country. And so if you come to my open house, one or two things have to happen. I have a dedicated tablet there for you to register or who you know can, a, can buy a house, can afford a house, who does not have a mobile device or came out looking for a house without a mobile device. Pull Only out your person will be doing that is someone probably downsizing, downsizing and moving into a retirement community. That's the only person I could think of over 80 with a flip phone. Exactly, with a flip phone. If anybody else, you come in my open house, I want you to get you a cute little picture frame. I'm looking around, get you a picture frame, okay? Put you, but I would actually do it the other way, like a sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11. I wouldn't have it uh, horizontal, I have it vertical. You mean like the picture frame like this? Get the, go, how much that cost at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Ross? A dollar at the Dollar Tree, $2 at Walmart. I, okay, go to Dollar Tree. Get you a picture frame. Come home on that 
on the sheet of paper that's in there, put a cute border around it. You can do this in Microsoft Word. Put in at the seller's request, you must register to view these premises, period. Because your because your seller told you to do so. And I would have the link to the Kiwi Live. Go to kiwilive.com, or you could even have a Google Form landing page that we talked about yesterday that mm -hmm. I believe is Unit 7 over on Real Estate Live if you aren't a member. You either do a landing page, you could do Kiwi Live, you could do some type of opt-in system. But I want to deliver to them all the details of that property. And at the moment they can pull their device out, and show me they have it on their device, we can proceed with their tour. If they can't pull out their device and they got it on there, we got a situation. And someone here is saying, Ty is saying, some people refuse to sign in. No, stop. Change, change the verbiage of your sign. The seller mandates that you register to preview their home. <laughs> There's no discussion. It ain't your house. And I have an agent uh, that... Your fiduciary responsibilities are to provide the seller with undivided loyalty. You are to follow all of their legal instruction. So, um, and one of our agents said, and I think I mentioned it a few days ago, she had husband and wife come to the door in a city really close. And the, and the, the her wife was like, I don't want to sign in. I didn't sign in any other open houses. She said, well, if you, if I were to list your home, wouldn't you want to know who's been through your house? Because I'm going to do the same thing for you if I listed your house. The husband was like, yes, sweetie, we need to sign in. Did they sign in to see that house? Yes, they did. I ain't going to tell you who, who is harassing me. Oh, she's in the room already. But the text says, Marky does okay. not do last minute. Look, they mess with me so bad because people email me all the time and they'll say, oh, can I see you next week? And when I tell them three weeks, I'm, be I'm being so dead serious. Sometimes if we were in non-coronavirus, three to four months, sometimes my schedule is booked out in advance. I just don't do, I'm not the last minute go-to person. I don't do it with my children. I don't do it with my husband. My husband was taking me on a European cruise for my birthday, July 31st canceled he had to come back he knew i took it off my calendar and rebook whatever it is he want to do with me for my birthday because he won't tell me what it is he said i'm letting you know right now damn it <laughs> don't plan nothing the weekend before or the weekend after i need you to block that time for me and he knew dead good and well if he didn't block it it would not be available he'd be looking like i just spent my money doing abc and this heifer then rebooked her time mm -hmm. yep <laughs> yep so i don't know how you figured that out because i'm telling you mark will come in here and he's like carrie i need you to do this i'm like I i'm doing something here i need you to he just don't stop i say no my no well let me tell you how i did it and we'll get back to lead generation <clears throat> because i'm the only female in a house of three men uh everybody thinks the world revolves around them with that being stated what I did to each person in my house when I had free time, I harassed them. Like Steve, he likes to go golfing. One day I called him all day at the golf course. Uh, Austin got his butt after school program, hated it. And then Skylar, when he was working at Com Ed, I was like, Skylar, I'm over here on the Com Ed website. I can't find the 1-800 number. I need a direct number to you, right? I did it for about a week. After the week, they left me, everybody in my house left me alone. That last minute go to, so you, you want to do it to me, but you don't want it done to you. So I found what was important to all three of them. Austin playing basketball after school, Skyla at his good internship because he didn't want to be embarrassed, and Steve when he goes golfing. If you want to mess with me about my time, I'm going to do the same thing for you, but I'm going to pick the most important thing. To you. <laughs> and then and I'm dead. Start messing with uh, Mark when it's time to go play basketball. You know what? I'll fix Try that. It. You won't have not a nah problem. Out I'm of going in the to the game and I'll be like, Mark, 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 Mark. Yeah. yeah. It, but be, be over aggravating. Like, <laughs> take all their aggravation from the course of a year and put it all in that 30 minutes. <laughs> 
you will, I promise you, you won't have any more issues. I'm telling you, we can have a whole different segment. I'm not, I'm not, look, I, unless they paying me, I am not bringing Steve back on one of these channels. Well, not even with Steve, but I'm just looking at the comments on YouTube. <laughs> not, yeah, if they not paying me, y'all can't see Steven, because Steven, Steven, I got to get paid for that fool. Somebody mm -hmm. says, uh, someone said, uh, mm -mm. love this. If they want to see it, they will sign in. Yep. Say that. They will. I'm the hey, only Ramona, we miss you, girly. Look, yeah. you, I should. Oh, Carrie, I'm going to add that T-shirt. No sign in, no C-E. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to come back. We'll work on that one. Wait, no sign in, no C. Oh, we could do a whole open house registration. No sign in, no C. And put two big eyes. Because I, I just don't, from a fiduciary responsibility, yeah. I don't understand how do we let people walk through people's houses. It's just, it's just back. You can't come, look, right now, one of my best friends since the age of seven, close, dear to me, she called here a couple of weeks ago. Oh, girl, I'm just going to stop by. We can't have no company. Ain't no need in you stopping by <laughs> over here. Yeah, I can't come over. Heck, you know, you run the streets too dang on much. I've been quarantined. You cannot come over my house. <laughs> I be dead serious because <laughs> I, I uh so you know i'm making masks and i and i kind of push my agents to the side they don't know they're not on this call because one of my clients called and said they needed to go to the doctor and when she got here she's like where is it I'm like give me a second let me throw it out the door i put my mask on i put my gloves on because i don't know where anybody's been so right you can't just come over here no so, sign in no see i think I, I let me write that down <laughs> I, I, I think we can come up with something. I was thinking just put in a pen and a, and a, and a circle with a line through it. Um, I want to see if we can actually come out with a branded picture frame, a t-shirt, a hat, uh, and a download, right? Uh, yeah, I think we could come up with a whole little protect the seller. No sign in, no see. Mm -hmm. Right. Protect yep. the seller, protect the consumer, all of it. Okay, so I want you to review because I think a lot of this, I think the, so I wonder while you were talking, cause you, I, I could just let you go. You could let me go talk. I went and looked Google, I went in on Kiwi and just looked at the the, the true idea of it, but it, it's the way to go, especially even with paperless because we even, so I, I get email, Carrie, can you send me this? Can you send me this? But for 20 bucks a month, it's worth it. And and the idea of having a home buyer's workshop and sending the, the download there, you're guaranteed to get their email. Guaranteed. And the beautiful thing is Kiwi can talk directly to your MailChimp so you can have it go straight into a email marketing campaign. So you first deliver to them the item of value. And then at 24 to 48 hours later, they're getting the, hey, um, give me your feedback on the property. So let me come back. I would not have you to sign in and register if your agent is there to show you the property. Right. Okay. So I would not do that. But I might have the agent just give me their card or sign in so I can exactly. show the seller. But I would not have the agent to sign into the form. So this would be uh, showings with no agent, right? Um, because I've never met you before. Never met you. And honestly, the way these people are out here lying today, I think we need to start asking agents to see their ID. Because so many of them are now calling to schedule appointments and are no-shows that I might change my showing directions. Agent must be present. Agent must have a valid ID ready to present at time of showing. And if you got a hot, hot property, and you know you got multiple bids and they've already written offers uh, to um, uh, subject to seeing the property, ain't no dang gone way. I'm going to let you come see it if you can't present ID because they out here lying, guys. And it's not about accommodating them. Let me be clear. Your job is not one of accommodation. Your job is one of undivided loyalty to your client. That means you are to put their needs and their wants before your own as long as it is within the scope of the law. That's almost verbatim out of license law, just so you know. Right. I think, yeah. I, <laughs> almost. So one person wrote, I answer, but I'll let you answer. What uh -oh. if the, the client or the, the prospect says, 
I have a realtor, but no realtor with them when it comes to signing in. They can't see it. Here we're going to do either A, we're going to treat it. Actually, I would treat it like a uh, new construction or um, yeah, new construction. So if we go to new construction, I'm almost sure they're asking for ID and your agent needs to be present at the first appointment. If they're not, pre I'm going to treat them like a stranger off the streets. They're not your, they're not your client. And truly, when they show up, your fiduciary responsibilities are still to the seller. We breaking our neck to service these buyers who just walked off the street. And to be honest with you, I don't want to be their agent anyway. In the state of Illinois, we have dual agency. I want them to be able to see that property to sign off on a non-agency disclosure. I don't want to be their agent until I get to know them anyway. And the beautiful thing about that is I can write their offer up, get paid, and all I owe them is honesty and full disclosure. I know that's not the same in anyone else's state. Let me, Carrie, you didn't open up a dang on can of worms here. I don't know why anybody in my state would ever want to be a dual agent. Right. So dual agent subjects you to uh, actually more risk, I don't ever have to be your agent and I can still get paid on a real estate transaction. And they're actually rewording real estate license law because some of us like me realize I don't have to be anyone's agent to the real estate transaction and I can make all the money I want to make. I was loving that. But now they stating it was a little tweak that says you must represent one party to the real estate transaction. Because I didn't, I had deals. I ain't have a responsibility to nobody. Right. No, 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 say, no AC to the buyer or the seller. Right. Look, look nobody. Do I look, do a for sale by owner with compensation. A ministerial non-agency agreement with that buyer. Give me all that money. All I got to do is be honest. Loved it. But now the, the language, they've tweaked the language. Because they it was some of us who figured that out. Like, right. eh, I can get all the money and I don't have to represent nobody. But then you got people out here, I mean, just want to do dual agency. It is because they think stupidity. they compensation doesn't equal Equ agency or agency doesn't equal compensation. So just pick a side. Pick a side. Any side. Heck, well, I think, think I got a little while. I ain't even got to pick a side still. Or better yet, do what I do. Refer. <laughs> pick a side. Hey, $24,000 last year in referral income. I love referrals. Don't represent nobody. I don't feel like driving to Plainfield, Naperville. Look, West Chicago, no way. <laughs> Southside High Park. Man, it's only like an hour and a half, two hours in at <laughs> six o'clock in the evening. Look, three hours commute time when you could have stayed out where you at, did a deal, and then sent that referral on over here to the South Side, right, and get a referral check. Icing on the cake, baby. I call it icing on the cake. What other oh, questions? Somebody wants to here? approve our request on Facebook. We didn't let everybody in the room. No, I, we only got about six people. So we'll take care of that, uh, Arlisa. If now, let me say this, Arlisa. I ain't going to say we'll take care of it. Do you appear to be a real estate agent on Facebook? I need to act because I will. We will. We do. I'm like, I we do decline page. people like, Who are you? Uh, to do so. My creative life. Okay, I'm going to come back. Uh, my creative life. Oh, Marky, your new t shirt. The way my fiduciary duties are set up. Girl, come through. The way my fiduciary duties are set up. Uh, I'm going to have to give you. Hey, you know what? This is what I'm thinking about. For the T-shirt line, for those who make a recommendation to me, I'm thinking I would use it and then I would hashtag their name at the bottom so people would know that it was a submitted design. Yeah, Arlisa is good. She answered all the questions. She said, uh, yes, she's licensed. Get it. She wants to learn about getting leads, starting up this business, Facebook and Instagram. I got some stuff for you, Carlisa. I got I got a whole thing checklist going here. Uh, KW, do you agree with the rules? You didn't answer. You said no response. But I'm assuming you agree with the rules since you answered the top three. What, what rules? The rules, I, I'll be honest, that this is not a place to do additional marketing. You know, oh. the rules. Oh yeah, if you're, we're not going to post new photos, something like that. My creative life. Hold on, I'm writing that down so I can. 
creative you life. Are in and approved our Lisa. Yep, you went over there. Okay. Mm-hmm. So guys, you. we got one more day. Look, so this is what's going to happen. I just, every day we wanted to come and show you one of our lead gen systems. Tomorrow is back on Carrie. What you going to teach us tomorrow night, Carrie? I'm going to, um, so remember Wednesday, yesterday I was saying, I'm going to show you how I am setting up a Facebook virtual uh, buyer workshop. I don't have a really good name yet. So I already started setting it up and I'm going to use some of the tools that you talked about to make it happen. Okay. And it'll be, and I'm actually going to do the virtual home buyer workshop on May 21st. But if you're a realtor, you can't get in, but you'll get to see how I'm going to do it tomorrow. Go do it. And go look. And I'm, li- I'm literally to gonna your go audience. live. Yeah, go duplicate it. Now you'll need to make a PowerPoint. If you can't make a PowerPoint, I will show you how you can do your um, your presentation from what do you call that thing? Cloud CMA buyer packet. As a matter of fact, I'll just do the whole thing with all the tools we used all week. So, and then Saturday morning, Carrie and I are doing a challenge. I got to go figure out how to do the challenge where we're going to both stream live to Facebook from Zoom via Cloud CMA talking about the cost of living or the value of our community. I'm gonna have to actually practice that first. I'm gonna do a private first, Carrie. Uh, Okay. Because I want to practice it. Because I've been thinking about that. And then I was thinking about how to get them to sign up. I I might take it a step further, Marky. I'll tell you now so everybody can expect it. When I'm done with Cloud CMA, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up HomeSnap and tell them to start shopping. She's getting on my nerves. I probably <laughs> should just watch hers first and then go and just do what she did. <laughs> go, on, Carrie, set the bar high, wait girl. Wait, wait a minute. Set so the bar we're high. Having, we're having HomeSnap training pro, and for your office, maybe we need to do the Cloud CMA live training for um, Real Streaming Estate. We should. Yeah, we should do something because I think they need it. And I want to actually, but I want to challenge them, Carrie, make them join us Saturday morning for the challenge because why don't I do Saturday morning first, show them how, then tell them to go do the challenge. Then go do it. Okay, good. Now, remember at 12 o'clock, I have that presentation. If you have not signed up, uh, what was that? Quarantined life? Is that what it's called? I said it to my sister. I felt like I was working hard. I don't know. how. Is it live on Facebook? Is it live in the group? I'm trying to figure out where I'm watching this. Yeah, I think you're going to watch it live in the group because they did send me a Zoom meeting request. So if you go, if, oh, well, look, all my it. Facebook posts are public. Let me check with her. to. to I want to know if she's going to go live, if you guys are going to be on Zoom and then go live to the group because I followed all the steps, but I didn't get an email. You didn't get an email. So let I'm me assuming ask her. that they're going to go live in the group. Group. That's my assumption, but I let me check because I could be totally incorrect about that. So, Mark, um, you can stop sharing to, to YouTube and then we can check. So, everybody, thank you, you for joining you, us. You're kicking everybody out. I you, you just told them they got to go home. Wait a minute. Y'all got yeah. some more questions. Why? Well, well, let me go see. Carrie, like, bye. Bye. Let me go see. Oh, let's see. Oh, that sounds great for t shirts, Mark. I have a couple of friends. I have a couple of friend made for me, but don't think I was, it will mass market. So I can send it to you. Oh, Thanks thank you. Guys. I appreciate and, um, it. Uh, I think it's, is it Turkeya uh, uh, for sharing this info? New agent since March 1st. Oh, you came right in on COVID, the COVID agent. You need a t-shirt that says the new agent. Like you're like the new normal agent. Like you're learning crash course, everything. Yep. All right, guys. Are we going to go live next week anywhere? No, we're going to take a one week break. We got to get ready to give some money away, Carrie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to do a Facebook chat. Oh, we need all this. We're going to do a challenge. I think, I don't know how much money we decided we were going to give away. I guess it's a couple of hundred. Oh, we, no, we decided we weren't giving money away. We decided we were both giving away consultation packages. Um, And so we're setting that up. I'm meeting with our Facebook lot, mm -mm, our Facebook ad guy, because we're doing a whole campaign. We wanted to reach the masses. So we'll set that up. We we got some, uh, we got some behind the work, behind the scenes work to do next week. So here's the question. What platform do you use to do the audio and video messaging to send to your sphere and expires? I'm going to tell you now, I did respond to her and I said, um, I typically um, 
I got an answer for you, Ty. I tip, I use Lion Desk, but I typically am still a direct mail marketing person. So I t target cancels and expires through direct mail with handwritten notes, and that works for me. I am more likely to convert right now, especially because of a handwritten note. I have to go to the mailbox, and I hate going to the mailbox. Um, so the other question is, is Carrie, yes, I'm doing the InfoSparks class. I was going to do it on Wednesday, but then I got switched to do a, um, an, a something for an association. So on, I think, the 19th, we they're scheduling the two hour CE class for 630 at night or six o'clock at night. And then on the 27th during the day, something like that. So I was, I'll post it in my feed. I was trying to find, but I've been communicating a lot. And I mean a lot via uh, Messenger. And what I love about Messenger, and I know Taquaya uh, knows this, is that uh, I do audio messages and video messages. So I was trying to find a video message that was just sent to me by someone who does not know me, okay? Um, who does not know me. She saw me on someone else's channel and she sent me the message. So, but here's an audio message, right? So I just sent this audio message to Lisa. She told me I was awesome. Let's see what the audio says. Wait a minute. Is my, oh, my volume's not up. Duh, Marky. Hold on. Anything, please just reach out. Have a wonderful day. So to me, uh, as you well know, I talk my butt off. It is so much easier for me to send audio messages. So I think we should get away from just sending text message. Think about audio or visual. Audio means they get the tone and your voice. Uh, video means they get the visual plus the tone. So the more you can add to the messaging, the more you're connecting with the person. And I'm maybe, and I'm so, if I don't know you, I prefer the text first. Yeah, I got you. Just hold on, Marky. Somebody they 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 don't want us to go. Are they asking uh, us some questions? No, okay, no. keep going. No, so someone said, okay, only one week only, please. So basically, we can't be. We have if we don't go live after next week, they're gonna. We be gotta like, go y'all at. Okay. So I'm wondering if I so so next week if I can't get Marky to go live with me, there's some classes I need to fix anyway. So I'll do what? the short version of Info Sparks for sure. I'll put in a schedule. Oh, you know what? No, Carrie, we know what we was doing next week. You know what we was doing next week? Where we were going live. We Where? said we would come back to it. Periscope. Periscope. Right. We'll be live over on Periscope. The we, problem is only get to see one of us. No, Carrie, your sister sent us a link to a guy. He had two guys side by side. So we need to inbox him to see how he's doing it. Okay. Periscope, that's where we'll be next week. So that means we've been Facebook Live. Instagram live, YouTube live, Twitter live. And then I think we need to assess what really worked well. I I'm going to tell so you far Facebook. Facebook works best, but this uh, live to YouTube is probably the easiest and the connectivity is the best. Have you noticed that? We don't have the same connectivity issues on YouTube as we've had over on Facebook. That would be true. So, I mean, the, the one thing I'll say about YouTube is I think this makes me see that maybe I should invest in this and, and use it to build out my platform to get the numbers up. Yeah. So, but next week, guys, guess what? We're, we will be over on Twitter every day and we're going to do the same thing next week. Uh, Carrie will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll be Tuesday, Thursday. Now, let me tell you why we come up with that format because um, I've, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I just have... Uh, more people over there. So to make sure that the show is fair, we want Carrie to have more days on her channel to build her numbers up. On Periscope. On Periscope. Well, it might not be Periscope, but I think I'm thinking Twitter. No, I'm thinking, yeah, th yeah. really the yeah. truth is it doesn't matter. You could still go first. It doesn't matter because- um, my You can biggest, tag and share. Yeah, and and um, it's different on Instagram. Like for me, I'm just, I need to build out Instagram, but- Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. You can go first on uh, Monday. So we'll be over on Twitter next week, guys, or Periscope. Twitter or Periscope. But it Periscope goes to Twitter. So it same does. place. Yeah. Right. Okay. Jerry Joe Little and Marky Lemons. Yep. And we'll post the feed. So if you stop sharing, Marky, Sarah joined us in here. And uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Sarah. We'll stop streaming. 
Okay, well, we're going to promote her to panelists. Let her come in. And then, guys, we are going to stop sharing. Hold on. Let me go to share. Oh, wait a minute. How do I? Stop streaming top left. Top left. Uh, oh, here we go. Stop live.